Hello guys, it's Rabo here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about AMC stock as it's back in the news recently as Brown Katie is back on Twitter. So as soon as he started tweeting, GME and AMC pretty much just got pumped up to the stratosphere. But what I wanted to talk about in today's video was the actual economic impacts of AMC, which I did not know about because I'm not a shareholder, so I don't really pay attention to it. But it did catch my attention when I was watching Chris's video yesterday. So let's get into it. From this AK that was released on May 14th, which is yesterday that I'm recording this video, AMC issued on March 28, 2024. They issued $250 million of new shares, pretty much equating to 72.5 million shares at $3.45 per share. Just looking at the complete misallocation of capital, instead of it going to an actual profitable business, it's going to a dead theater company. And it also goes to show how monetary policy is still too loose. Like this company should be dead by now. Pretty much if we go back to 2021, when interest rates were at 0%, having raised that low, pretty much kept this company alive when it should have gone bankrupt, along with a lot of other companies as well so this is pretty much the scene and the unseen which is something that henry hazard talks about a lot in economics in one lesson what you're seeing is this company is still alive but the unseen is all this land labor and capital being directed to an unprofitable business that should have gone bankrupt during the recession oh my freaking god 250 million dollars man like i would much rather have that money go to apple microsoft like i know they're already big companies but at least they're actually profitable and they're actually using uh, capital effectively and creating a profit like this company we'll talk about it on the statement of cash flows but they're still burning money like there's no tomorrow and the ceo does not give a damn he's gonna ride this until it freaking dies he's making like 30 million dollars a year he could not give a single f he's going to keep diluting keep taking on debt or whatever to keep this company alive until they inevitably go bankrupt so when i saw this as well i just knew automatically i'm just repeating myself but the absolute misallocation of capital and peter schiff also tweeted that out as well which goes to show that great minds think alike and this is pretty much the difference between an austrian and just a brain dead Keynesian because they're going to look at this and say okay they diluted shareholders that's bad for the shareholders but it's also bad for the economy as well like once again 250 million dollars that's a lot of money i would much rather have that money go to at least a startup business i mean even though there's no guarantee that they might make a profit i mean this is already proven that this business is just not viable anymore they should go bankrupt this is freaking ridiculous and let's get into the cash flow statement so before we get into the cash flow statement actually just looking at the front screen here it is down 22 percent today actually 23 percent because we're looking at 22.99 percent and if we go to the income statement and just looking at the uh, revenue growth and the profit growth so pretty much obviously in 2020 it just went absolutely under even before 2020 as well though like the profits weren't even that big we got two percent three percent three and a half percent and then they lost money and then uh 2020 came around so pretty much as you can see here they're losing money hand over fist and if we go to the cash flow statement and just look at it on a quarterly basis we're just going to see negative 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 okay we've got a positive here let's see why oh because of depreciation so there you go but negative 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 they're just losing money like there's no tomorrow all these resources just being allocated to a dead company and is making a negative use of the factors of production and one more thing to factor in as well is that amc is part of the service sector they provide the service of showing movies so instead of that capital going towards production it's spent on consumption and runs up the trade deficit this is absolutely just embarrassing to look at and on top of that as well you had to add the operating cash flow which is negative and the capital expenditures as well which shows how much they're actually burning because they don't have any free cash flow and now switching back from quarterly to annually we can actually see how much money they're taking in every year for the financial section so pretty much in 2020 when they took in that billion dollars if freaking interest rates went up like they're supposed to and not go down the company would not have gotten this financing and they would have went under they should have freaking gone bankrupt in 2020 but unfortunately they did not because the federal reserve is freaking stupid pretty much all casing economists are so stupid they don't know anything about interest rates they don't know anything about the moral hazards they don't know anything about the scene and the unseen they don't know anything about misallocating resources so pretty much looking between both debt and uh, stock issuance so we got a billion 200 million 200 million another 1.8 billion dollars in stock issuance because this was the whole like you know craze of the source squeeze and everything and then another 220 million and then another 832 million and yes they did pay off some debt so you could take that off a little bit but still overall though this company is getting a positive inflow of cash because people are stupid enough to give them money this also factors in with the bubble as well that low interest rates don't only affect the company but it also affects creditors and shareholders that are allocating capital to this freaking dead company i'm just repeating myself i'm almost gonna end this video because i'm so pissed off looking at this like it's freaking dead get rid of this freaking company if we look at the balance sheet i mean how much you want to bet it's freaking negative yep and as you can see here negative shareholder equity which means that they owe more than they actually have if we look at the current assets 1.2 billion oh my god even the current ratio is freaking uh, less than one and if we look at their uh, long-term debt 8.6 billion dollars oh my god like just stop just stop go bankrupt right now i don't give a fudge get rid of this dead company all right guys that's basically going to be the end of today's video i know this was a short one but i just want to talk about the complete misallocation of capital going towards this dead company i probably said dead company about like 25 times in this video but amc should go bankrupt today not tomorrow not next week today get rid of this dead company so like and subscribe guys and i'll see you guys in the next video